Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Grand Strand Nissan in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And i uh, really excited to show you this car. This is a 2015 Nissan 370Z Nismo edition car. I mean, it's just amazing, amazing small sports car, two-door sports car. Um, it would just blow your mind driving this car. This one is a pearl white and since it's a Nismo it has the it has the red accents pretty much all over the place. Uh, one of the things that kind of pops out to me is on the 19 inch wheels here behind you can see the uh, the red calipers, Nissan calipers and um, they look like they're pretty good size. I don't know how many pistons they are but uh, that one might be a dual, this one might be a single, I'm not really sure. I'll just check out the overall contour and look of it. Very aerodynamic looking. It looks like you got a little bit more front end than back end, just the way it looks. And uh, it does have the 3.7 uh, liter. That's the whole point of the, the 370, is the 3.7 liter V6. And this one is uh, specially tuned um, in Japan. Uh, the suspension is tuned, the brakes are tuned, uh, everything is uh, tuned for performance in this particular car. And you see right here, there's the window sticker and you can see the, the standard stuff there, but then when it goes to the uh, Nismo exclusive features, you've got all this, um, you know, the add-ons there. Let's go ahead and start here on the passenger side. Now this one has the the proximity or intelligent key basically. It, it, as long as it's within a certain proximity, um, you can push this button and unlock lock and unlock the doors. Um, you can also use the key here to lock or unlock it. So let me go ahead and get in here, check it out. Now one thing I've noticed: this car has a lot of suede. It has suede here on the door. Got suede, very soft, smooth, comfortable suede. Same thing with this, um, these Recaro seats. They uh, have a super soft. That all that red part is all uh, perforated suede, and then you got the leather with the red stitching around there. It is a kind of a low car, so sorry about the camera angles. Let's see if I, this is better. Plenty of room too. It does have really um, the side bolstering on the on the seats are very comfort. I mean, it's just kind of you get glued in the seats um, and it's very comfortable. Then you get pinned in the seats when you push the gas. Um, this car is that fast. You got the kind of a low profile spoiler there. Dual exhaust uh, with the polished. Um, chrome tips there. Let's see if you can see anything under the car as far as the exhaust system or anything. Yeah, so let's go ahead and open up the trunk and see what's back here. Um, of course, this is not made for hauling a bunch of cargo. There's the original floor mats here. Um, they hook in the in the floor there, and then it's got the Nismo um, embroidered there on the side. And I'm not exactly sure. Um, this one may have. Look at that. It comes with a tow hook too, which is awesome. Uh, let's look under here. I think under here is the spare tire. Um, it's a little bit. I don't want to, you know mess anything up so I'm just kind of leave it as it is it's not really easy to get into 
of this back part. It does have a shade, so if you got stuff back here and you want to you want to cover it up, you can you can do so with the shade. It actually hooks up um, all the way up here, like so, like that, and then that way when you close the trunk, it covers everything up. Looks like it's got some place where air can flow through, so it's a little bit more aerodynamic around the wheel wells. So let me go ahead and hop in. Here's the inside of the driver's door. Suede all on the side, soft, very soft suede. There's the handle. You got a little pocket there, automatic um, side mirrors, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, side windows, um, basically you just one touch up and down, door locks, this is your side mirror control here, the little joystick there, it has a lot of adjustments on the seat, they're all manual, it's where you can adjust the front, the back, separately and stuff like that. You do have a little bit of a uh, kind of storage space behind the seats here so you can kind of quick access stuff back there so let me go ahead and hop in all right it's a little bit of a tight squeeze I mean the seat is, has these bolsters, so I kind of have to get in there and get situated because it doesn't really give you a lot of room to, you know, change your seating position. It's like, other than the adjustments. So once you get it adjusted, the side bolsters kind of hold you in really tight. Got plenty of leg room, that's for sure. Okay, and um, so starting it up, you just put your foot on the brake and push the start button. Alright, so moving on here to the steering wheel, as you can see, maybe you can or maybe you can't, all the way from here up to here is all um, suede. So you got suede on the steering wheel, you've got suede up um, on both sides here, on the left and right, from here to there, and then you've got regular um, leather here at the bottom and the top with the red stitching around here. Plus you got this little red center line here so you can kind of keep your, keep your uh, vehicle straight I guess, I, I'm not sure, um, it's probably just for looks, but here's all the interior gauges. Um, the speedometer goes up to 180 miles per hour, and I'm not really sure what the top speed would be on this car, but uh, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, it's a, it's made, it's made for high performance. You've got a, um, the RPMs are the front and center. Uh, the speedometer is off to the side, and it doesn't redline until you get over 7,000 RPMs. And over here, which is pretty cool is your gas gauge, it has these kind of like illuminated little dots there and then your temperature has a little dot there. It's kind of a future retro, new retro type look. I, I like it though. So this has a little, the option, this button over here has the option of kind of cycling through some stuff. So you can see your range and different things. Outside temperature, miles per gallon. Seems like the range is the most useful. Got the turn signals there. This one's got the paddle shifters too. Um, and they, are, they have like leather on them too, which I've never seen that before. They've got like a 
a leather on the outside here leather feel I don't know if it's real leather or what but it feels like leather behind the steering wheel cruise controls on this side and uh, on this side you've got Bluetooth you can pair your phone uh, and make and receive calls there you've got a voice recognition system that you can um, you know change to a certain station or call somebody your volume for your radio is there and um, basically you can you know change to the source on your radio and, and and play around with your radio with these buttons as well you do have a, a temperature gauge here and uh, kind of zoom in maybe that'll help so you can kind of get a look okay so your temperature gauge is there and then on this side is your battery voltage. It gives you really um, precise measurements there. And then you've got a clock there on the right, which is not accurate right now, but um, you've got one. This opens up, and you got like this storage space. Not very deep. It's just like a small place. Um, my phone doesn't fit in there. It's just, I'm not sure what, I guess a small phone or something might fit, um, but I'm not really sure what that's for. Um, I guess put small stuff or whatever. There's your radio. Now this one in particular has kind of a, just a basic radio, and um, which, you know, doesn't matter because you've got the ability to, um, you know, plug in things through the auxiliary input and the USB input there. So, uh, and also you do have a CD player. Climate control is here at the bottom, and um, this is your fan speed, your temperature, and where you want the air to blow. It also has an automatic setting, so you can you know just set set it to automatic in your temperature and just roll with it. Four-way flashers are there, and this is your shifter. This is an automatic uh, transmission, and basically, um, when you put it in reverse, there's a backup camera that pops up on the rearview mirror. You can put it down and drive here, but you can always put it over here as an alternative to the paddle shifters and manually, uh, like, basically ratchet, sh ratchet shift through the gears if you wanted to do that. And it'll tell you what gear you're in here. So when I put it over in manual, it's in first gear. Um, parking brake is here, just kind of a standard lift, to, you know, lift it up. These are blank right now in this vehicle. Uh, you do have one cup holder here. This uh, center console lifts up, and this is where you'll find a little storage pocket, but also a, a power supply. And let's see if I can get the camera in there. A USB and auxiliary inputs. And it has a little place here to, to, for the wires to go in and out of there. So let's say if you had um, a portable device in the cup holder and you can just run the wire in there and plug it in. Something like that. But as far as like putting my phone somewhere, um, it doesn't really, I guess it'll fit in there. Yeah, it'll fit in there. But um, as far as just like a, a convenient place to just kind of set it down, I guess in the seat because um, I don't really see a place for the phone. Not a big deal, but just want to mention that to you uh, in case you're, uh, that's a big deal to you. So you won't be shocked. Um, it does have a, a directional compass right here. So right now the vehicle is facing east. Uh, this is an auto dim rear view mirror. And um, basically you can turn that feature on and off here on the bottom of the mirror with that button there. It does have home link um, it's for your garage so you can put, uh, pair it with this system and you can push the button and open up your garage with that. You have like a tap light system here. You can turn the lights on or off um, like that or you can just have them to door or you can have them off completely. The visors um, covered in plastic right now but they do have a mirror and light. Your trip um, over here, your mileage and trip, you can um, basically, this this right here, I'm sorry, this is for your um, your dimmer. So you can dim or 
you can adjust your brightness of your gauges. Your trip control is right here, this little button here, a little knob sticking out. It doesn't have the best visibility, but it does have these little windows that kind of help out. So when you're looking over your shoulder, you can kind of keep an eye out um, for people possibility in your in your uh, blind spot. It would be handy, I guess, to put a little round mirror there on the on the side. It might take away from the coolness of the car, but these seats are amazing. The Recaro seats, and there's another fancy word um, on the on the window sticker regarding those seats, but I'm not really familiar with it. All right, so let's check out underneath the hood and check out that awesome engine. And this is tuned in Japan. This um, it's a Nismo tuned engine. This is the 3.7 liter V6, and you can actually see some engine. This is awesome. And um, it's packed in there pretty good because this is a small vehicle. Now, the VV and L, it's a variable valve system. Um, I think it stands for variable valve events and leveling. I think so. I'm not sure. Let's check. But that's the uh, that's the awesome sweet engine that propels you at 180 miles per hour. All right, VVEL. It's variable valve event and lift. Sorry about that. And as far as I don't not really familiar with that system, but um, I'm sure it's a, a next level above the variable valve timing that you see in a lot of vehicles. So uh, so anyways. If you have any questions, if you have anything to add, if you have any experience with one of these vehicles that you would like to share, um, please leave it in the comments. And I'd really appreciate it. Now, I just want to mention that this got pollen all over this car. It is pollen season, so sorry about the, the you know the way it looks. The white doesn't show up very much, but uh, you can kind of tell. But anyways, um, if you have any questions, like I said, leave it in the comment section and check out those fog lights. LED fog lights. All right, getting sidetracked. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time. Thanks.